While Naruto's victory over Kakazu demonstrated his tremendous growth, major changes were also taking place in the Orochimaru faction. Sasuke had rebelled against his master. Orochimaru had been severely weakened when the third Hokage sealed his arms, and now Sasuke had surpassed him. And now Sasuke had no use for him. Seeking to usurp Orochimaru's power for his own, Sasuke sought to assassinate him. I knew this time would come, Sasuke. There's nothing more you can teach me. I'm finished with you. It ends here. It didn't work with Itachi. Is that why you came after me? You still couldn't do it in the end, though. You couldn't equal the Uchiha, let alone overcome them. No matter how much of a genius you are, you're just a normal man before the Uchiha. You can't win, Orochima. It's impossible for you to take my body. <laughs> you may be the first person to ever make such a fool of me. <laughs> Take this! Uh. Right here! Too slow. This. Take this! Every genius dwindles to mediocrity before an Uchiha. A snake that crawled on the earth dreamt of soaring through the sky, knowing full well it was impossible. Still, in vain, it nurtured a baby bird in its own nest, failing to realize that the bird had become a hawk and the snake was now its prey. This can't... <clears throat> this can't be happening! I am Orochimaru. I am immortal! I will not die here! I... I am the one who will unlock the mysteries of nature. I am the one who will receive everything! I am... I will take your power. Defeated by Sasuke's visual prowess, Orochimaru was overthrown. After biding his time for so long, Sasuke could finally begin his quest for vengeance.
Gathering a small team to himself and naming it Hebi, Sasuke began to plot his revenge against Itachi. Akatsuki member Deidara launched a surprise attack while Sasuke was operating alone and separated from his allies. Deidara had intended to kill the treacherous Orochimaru, and so he resented Sasuke for beating him to the punch. Sasuke endured a great barrage from Deidara's artistic ninjutsu, which defeated Gara in the past. You're going to tell me about Itachi. If you can beat me, I'll tell you anything. Sure. Kid like you took down a Rochimaru. You were just born into good stock. Quit acting so smug. You. Hey, Toby. Check out that glare. This guy's worth picking apart. Hmm. Aw, we'll have to apologize to Itachi later. Wait a run! This guy moves too fast. We can't keep up. You heard the mask. There's no point in fighting any longer. You lose. Now tell me about Itachi. Quit blabbering, you ninny. We're just getting started. Take this! Don't underestimate the Uchiha. Is that how little you fear me? But Deidara was enraged when Sasuke demanded information concerning Itachi, because he felt his art was being disrespected. Deidara had once sensed something artistic in Itachi, and for that reason, he became obsessed with Sasuke. I'll show you my biggest, ultimate, maximum explosion. Is he going to? Struggling is useless. You can't run from an explosion. You're doomed to disintegrate here. Now are you afraid? Cower in awe, recoil in despair, cry your heart out. Because my art is an explosion! Shaken by anger and humiliation, he detonated himself to achieve the ultimate art form with the aim of killing Sasuke simultaneously. Sasuke, however, employed a transportation technique an instant before the blast and managed to escape the explosion. Once and for all, Daedra's art failed to impact the Uchiha.
By then, rumors of Orochimaru's defeat at Sasuke's hands had reached the Hidden Leaf. Naruto and his allies began a search to recover Sasuke, narrowing their focus to Sasuke's objective, Itachi of the Akatsuki. Eventually, it was Naruto who succeeded in confronting Itachi. If I capture you, I can see Sasuke! You won't get away! Why are you so fixated on my brother? He's a rogue ninja. Why am I so fixated? That's easy! Because I'm more his brother than you ever were! Sasuke to be like a brother to you. What if Sasuke were to attack the community? What would you do then? I would defend the village, but I'd find a way to stop Sasuke without killing him! You're such a child. Your tales are mere fantasies. Ninja must sometimes make very harsh decisions. Yeah, someone told me that before. Prince. But there's no choice here. I never go back on my word. My ninja way! Naruto Uzumaki. He's grown stronger. If I defeat you here and now, Sasuke's bound to come back! <laughs> Only if it goes the way you want it to. Sasuke comes back to the Hidden Leaf Village. So let's do this! I have shared some of my power with you. What's the big idea? Weren't you coming after me? I'm going now. I have an important matter to attend to. After hearing Naruto's feelings concerning Sasuke, Itachi had no further interest in fighting and left. In doing so, he failed to defeat or capture the Jinchuriki, Naruto. However, Itachi's behavior did not make sense to Naruto.
Upon identifying the location of the supposed leader of the Akatsuki, Jiraiya infiltrated the hidden rain village alone. There, he encountered Payne, who appeared to be his former student. Payne was plotting to mass-produce weapons which employed forbidden jutsu powered by the tailed beasts. Although Jiraiya's initial objective had merely been to gather information, he decided he could not leave Payne be. The term, Child of Prophecy, which had once been revealed to him, came into his mind. It was said a student of Jiraiya's would bring either peace or destruction to the ninja world. He decided to confront Pain in order to rectify his pupil's errors and thereby thwart the Akatsuki's ambitions. I'll put an end to this miserable world. It's God's work. You are a poison to the world. I will take the responsibility of destroying you. That's the last thing I can do for you as your master. They say the Renegon was sent down from the heavens to a world in chaos. So I believe you guide the world from chaos into order. But I was mistaken. The Akatsuki brings chaos now. It seems that something went wrong with your development. <laughs> this world has not grown, but we have. Bringing us to this enhanced state. Well, well, listen to you. No matter the sacrifice, I'll keep moving toward true peace. But in order to attain true peace, the world must first know pain. As my students, I believed you'd grow into good people. I never doubted you'd use your power to protect your loved ones. But apparently, I was wrong. I wanted you to lead the way to a just world, but ideals without strength mean nothing. Goodbye. Pain's power allowed him to revive himself no matter how many times he fell, and so it was Jiraiya who met defeat. Naruto. You never gave up, no matter what. So... As your teacher, I... I must not give up. With his last ounce of strength, Jiraiya left a clue toward the nature of Pain's power. For he believed that Naruto was the child of prophecy who would bring peace to the ninja world.
Meanwhile, at an Uchiha hideout, Sasuke and Itachi came face to face. In his conversation with Sasuke, Itachi mentioned a third man who possessed Sharingan. Madara Uchiha, one of the founders of the Hidden Leaf, who had fought to his death against the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju. To avoid losing his sight at the cost of Mangekyo Sharingan, Madara took both of his younger brother's eyes. Itachi then declared that the reason he let Sasuke live was because he intended to use his eyes as his own replacements. It's time I settled the score with you, once and for all. Such confidence. But even with those eyes, you see nothing. You grasp nothing. You are wrong. There is one thing my eyes see clearly. I see your death, Itachi. Me dead at your feet, huh? Let's get to it. The night you destroyed the Uchiha clan. Did you really do that alone? No matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire clan. There must have been someone else there that night. Yeah. So you figured it out. There! Right here! Yeah, yeah. Who was it? Who helped you? Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha? Firestar! Fireball! Matarasu! death you imagined for me? <gasps> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. <laughs> now I get serious. And now for the trump card, the Susano. No! Firestyle! Dragon Fire Jutsu! Firestyle! Fireball! Right here! Chidori! There! Firestyle! Fireball Jutsu! Prisoners of their own knowledge and perception. They call it reality. Yet knowledge and perception are ambiguous. That reality may be Thinking Madara is dead is just your arbitrary assumption. Sasuke, your eyes don't see a thing. You see nothing. <laughs> You 
can never beat me. Firestyle! Fireball! Fire moving! Nuisance. Right here! Yeah, yeah! Take this! What do you do about this, suspect? Did you try to get some space? Still. Nuisance. Serpent Jutsu. are mine. What are you saying? Isn't there anything I can do? How can I defeat him? Give up. You've lost. Shut up! What should I do? There's nowhere to run. Stay back! You're Big hopeless. brother, let's go home together. Why would you My foolish do something brother, like this? Go ahead and hate me. You promised to teach me a new shuriken Sorry, Sasuke. jutsu. Maybe another time. Big brother, you're so far away. 
There's no duo like you and me, bro. I'll always be with you. And when this deadly combat came to a close, Sasuke had vanquished his clan's mortal enemy, Itachi. But then Tobi appeared. He revealed himself to be Madara Uchiha, Itachi's collaborator, and the third man who possessed Sharingan. Tobi revealed the truth concerning Itachi, which greatly shocked and confused the exhausted Sasuke. Itachi had been acting fully under the orders of the Hidden Leaf's leaders. It was at their command that he had destroyed his family and become a rogue ninja and reviled criminal. The Uchiha clan had been planning a coup. Sorry, Sasuke. This is it. Sasuke finally understood. Itachi had risked everything for the sake of the ninja world, the Hidden Leaf, and his younger brother. No longer the heavy, we have shed our skin. From now on, our team will be the Hawk. We are the Taka. The Taka shall have but one motive. We exist to destroy the Hidden Leaf. Changing his team's name to Taka and joining forces with the Akatsuki, Sasuke resolved to take revenge on the Hidden Leaf. 